Hi Kerry fans, so the sand barrels are back, so let's check it out. But don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products, make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel, in the previous episode that Kirby Classic 3 took on the Ultimate G. Now the next Kirby up would have been the Kirby Centria or the Centria 2, sadly I had to sell those couple of months back to fund more content on this channel. So we're going to jump into a later Kirby and it's going to be the Kirby Avalia 100th edition. So let's dive right into it. Right, so on my right we've got the Kirby from 1978 which is 42 years old, this Classic 3, and it's doing a fantastic job. So you can see Kirby's last a lifetime, 40 years old and still going strong. Now the previous battle it took on the Ultimate G Diamond Edition and today it's going to be taking on an 8 year old vacuum which is the Kirby Avalia 100th Edition. Now they celebrated Kirby's 100th birthday. Kirby started in 1914 as you might be aware and it was 100 years old in 2014. So just to celebrate that 100th anniversary Kirby brought out the Avalia 100th or the Avalia 100th edition. We're going to be seeing if this eight year old Kirby can take on the Classic 3 and whether it can knock the Classic 3 back to 1978 or whether the Kirby Classic 3 could beat the Avalia 100th edition. As always, we're going to vacuum this mat off and we're not going to do that with the Avalia 100th edition. We're going to do it with the Kirby G3. Now this is the Kirby G3 I got last year. I did do a refurbish on it and I will put a link to that video at the end of this one for those who want to check it out. It has got a few upgrades with it. We have got the mini empty out. We've got the new style bag inside there as well. So this is a fantastic machine and it's also got a new style brush roll. So just, let's dive in, get this carpet cleaned and then start this battle. Well, see that Kirby G3 did an amazing job on the carpet. It got some fantastic carpet lines. It's really agitating the carpet, cleans it really well, especially with the upgrade mini MTA, it makes it a lot easier to clean, and you can still get some fantastic results from a 22-year-old Kirby. Let's jump in and get this battle started. Bags are fitted and weighed, 40 grams of sand in each are rubbed in. So let's get this battle started and see who the winning contender will be. Will it be the Classic 3 or will it be the Avalia 100th edition?
So the battle's over. You can see the agitation from the Classic 3 and the Avalier 100. Get these bags weighed and see whether the Avalier 100 has knocked the Classic 3 back to 1978 or whether the Classic 3 has made a comeback and knocked the Avalier 100 back to 2014. Right, now don't forget for the keys in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get those Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so let's jump into the results. Has that Classic 3 beat the Avalier 100, or has the Avalier 100 beat the Classic 3? So we'll start with the Classic 3 first. So the Classic 3 had a starting weight of 70.06. They both had 40 grams of sand put down and the Classic 3 had a finishing weight of 100.22 grams. So the Classic 3 picked up 30.16 grams. So out of 40 grams, it picked up just over 75%, which is a pretty good pickup with just 10 passes for a Kirby from 1978. Now, I haven't changed the belt since we started these vacuum battles, so that's with the original belt that we started with as well. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it has dropped a little bit on the pickup. I will be changing the belt on the next sand battle to see if it makes any difference. The Avalier 100 had a starting weight of 70.54 grams and a finishing weight of 101.18 grams, which means that picked up 30.64 grams. So it literally picked up half a gram more than what the Classic 3 did. That, that's pretty close. If you enjoy these battles, make sure you comment down below. What's your favorite Kirby so far? What Kirby you've got? If you've just bought a Kirby as well. For those who are struggling with servicing your Kirby, check out this video. And for those who want to do some shampooing with your Kirby, check out this video. So thanks for watching, happy cleaning, and I'll catch you in the next one.